So welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be covering the Withings uh, Health Device Monitor integration into Home Assistant. Uh, you can see from the inset over here, there's some uh, promo videos from the actual uh, Withings website. It's an amazing integration, brings across a wealth of information. It's a single integration to for all of their different products. So install once, get all the information from all the different products. As you see, wealth of information in relation to the products themselves. There are scales, uh, blood pressure monitors, thermometers, bed monitors, watches, etc. Um, really high quality. I've had mine for about two years now and it has not missed a beat all the way through. Integrating that across into Home Assistant has been a great benefit and allows for a wealth of information to be displayed. So let's get into it. And so now we come to the fun bit. Uh, we're going to create an account inside of the Withings, which is going to be your user account that you're going to use for tracking your uh, personal details. Now, obviously, I've already created one, so I won't go into that. So if I try and log in now, it'll ask me to create or log in. Now, if I enter in my details and press next, it'll send me a one-time authentication code. Copy that code across from your email, press next, and it should log you in. Then we have to log into the developer.withings.com. Links in the, the description below. Mine's already set up, but it's the same process to go through. Press login. I have my production instance here set up already, but I'm going to create a separate one and run through that. In the top right hand corner, you have create an application. Select public API integration top selection, go down, accept the terms and conditions and press next. It will ask you for an application name. In this case, we're just going to type home assistant, HA for home assistant and the description, we're going to type home assistant. And in the URL, we don't need to test it. We don't need to register another URL, just press next. The information that's described on the screen now, you will need this client ID and the secret. Highly recommend that you press the copy button and copy these over to a notepad so that you can utilize those later on. Now that we've copied both of these over to a notepad, press confirm. Moving across into Home Assistant, we are going to be entering in a few lines into the Studio Code Editor into the configuration file, and we're going to be loading up the Withings integration. So let's go and do that now. Pressing your studio code server, which you would have loaded in before, we're going to move across into the configuration.yaml. Anything with a hash in front of it is a comment and is ignored by the um, compiler. Two spaces, context sensitive, remember. Now I'm going to use a um, secret file, but you might want to put yours in your um, client ID and, se and secret password into your configuration, but it's highly recommended that you do not do that. So we're going to type Withings, colon. This tells uh, Home Assistant that the information that's going to be following is relating to the Withings integration. Notice it's already inserted two spaces because it's context sensitive. Now type in client underscore ID, colon, and it's a variable. Then we're going to send it across to the secret file, which as you can see here, it already uh, knows that uh, exclamation mark secret relates to the secrets.yaml file. Withings underscore client underscore ID. And we're going to press enter. Then we're going to type in a second one. Client underscore secret colon space exclamation mark secret. Withings. underscore client, client underscore secret. So that's all the information that we require inside of the configuration file to be able to um, allow the Withings integration to work. Now, what we do need to do is to go into our secrets file and actually update it. So now I've gone into the secrets.yaml file here 
and I've entered in withings underscore client underscore ID colon space and then that long key that's actually uh, was shown before that we copied into a notepad. Likewise, withings underscore client underscore secret colon space and then the next very long string of text and characters. You can't see it on screen, but um, you'll need to enter into this section the code that you copied to your note file from before. Now we need to move across into the developer's tool. We need to check our configuration and make sure the configuration will not prevent Home Assistant from starting. Once that happened, let's restart. We're now going to move across into our integrations to add the Withings integration. So select Settings, Devices and Services. Press the button that says Add Integration. Search for Withings. Select. As you can see, it forces you over into the Home Assistant account and it says we are connecting uh, to the email address you entered in before as an authorized partner. We're going to press allow this app. Now this is important because it will do a linkage between the uh, account uh, myhome.assistance.io and your local instance, which is on homeassistant.local8123. Press link. Okay, now it's popped back with the user profile and it's asking for our user profile that we're going to enter into the system. We need to do the profile name of the profile that had been set up in the developer account. Hence, I'm going to type Fred and submit. Success. Successfully authenticated with the Withings app, create a configuration for Fred. Finish. We should now be able to see our Withings entities. Fred has 34 entities. Fred's weight in kilograms, 90. And that's what we entered in before. So now we have successfully integrated Withings um, into Home Assistant, and this information will be dynamic and updated accordingly. Now we can just use these um, measurements here to be able to update into our dashboard. Select the entity, pick up on the entity ID that we're going to be putting into our dashboard, press the copy button on the right hand side, move across into a dashboard, pick up a card, for the purposes of this, we'll in, enter into an entity. Put Copy the entity that we just copied across from before, picking up on Fred, 90 kilograms, and there we are done. We now have Fred at 90 kilograms shown on a dashboard that is integrated through the Withings app, through the API that came directly from the scales. Obviously, you can put this into a graph if you want to show your weight over a period of time. You can associate any automations associated with this, but fundamentally, that's the basic principle. So to round up, what do I think about the Withings device integration? Um, I think the, now that they've made it a little bit simpler in relation to not having to use the Nabucasa uh, URL link back um, and making it into uh, an open link back via a fixed URL, it's actually simpler. But this is a classic for you need to read the documentation. Um, it, if you read the documentation, it's call, clearly called out, but there are still, as you'll see in the description, there are some comments in there that are different um, GitHub and Home Assistant uh, links that are going where people are asking the question, well, it used to work before, why is it not working? Or the, the, I've set it up based on information I've read on the YouTube or on other forums and it's still not working read the documentation. Anyway, um, so for me, I, it gets a large green tick, uh, single API call, single um, integration that provides through all of the information that you require across all of the Withings uh, devices. No need to set up different um, API calls, different integrations. It does a one-stop shop across everything. Huge win for me, definitely something that you should integrate into your home assistant. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope it clarified and allowed you to set up the Withings integration into Home Assistant. Um, like, subscribe, alert, all the usual stuff. Until the next one, thank you.